there guys, um, welcome back to something a little different. Today we're going to do another green light game. Uh, this is Gun Disassembly 2. And uh, this game interests me because obviously being British, I don't get to play around with guns like American people do. Um, and I think I'd enjoy it because I kind of like the technical side of things, like the pulling apart of things and then putting them back together. All clean and tidy and working much better. But um, yeah, this game is currently going through the green light process on Steam and uh, I checked it out, downloaded it and yeah um, we're gonna disassemble a gun today uh, Colt 1911 to be exact but before we do we'll check out some of the other guns that they got available um, when you download this game you get some games for free, you get some guns for free that you can disassemble so for example this SIG SIG Sawyer Commando you can you download the game and that that becomes available or you can just download it free other guns um, such as this M16 you have to purchase them but I'm not sure if that's just something they're doing while it's on green light or if that's something that's going to be a feature throughout the entire game because if that's a feature when they release the game I'm not sure I'm going to be too I'll be less inclined to want to play the game if that makes sense um, we've got a whole, whole range of weapons available as well that you can disassemble. I mean, the Desert Eagle in there, instant classic. Uh, I think there's a Maxim gun in here as well somewhere. Is it in the World War II section? No, maybe in artillery. Um, Maxim gun. There it is. And if you're a fan of uh, Red Jacket and that sort of thing, I think they rebuilt one of these. Um, so yeah, there you go. And you get to learn all this lovely trivia about the weapon as well. So it's not just pull a gun apart, put it back together, that kind of thing. Um, and there are some other cool features like x-ray the guns and that kind of thing. X-ray them, um, um, fire them, slow the speed down, that kind of thing. So it's kind of cool. And I think they've got plans to add a gun range in as well. Um, but like I said, if I like this game, I do like this game, I have enjoyed it, but if once it is greenlit and they're charging for the game, but then they're also charging for the models as well, I think uh, I'd be less inclined to want to want to pay for it. So uh, yeah, but we'll give this a go, we'll go find the, uh, we will find the Colt 1911. And we'll give this a quick go at disassembly. And I hope this time you can see my mouse cursor, because the last time I tried to do this, I didn't have my mouse, cur mouse cursor set onto fraps, and it just looked like the gun was disassembling itself. So I'll do the bits I know first. I know the magazine, and I know the sort of slide. I'll get that spring out there as well. Let's take the... Uh, Take the slide off and disassemble that first, because I know what I'm doing with that. So I'll take the firing pin stop out. See, I'm learning things about the gun as well. I reckon I could almost do this in real life, if so requested. There you go. Take that out of there, and then the barrel comes next. And then disassemble the barrel. So that's the slide done. See, nice and easy. If I can do it, I'm pretty sure you can do it. One of the more common guns in the universe, isn't it? Let's be honest. Right, take that off. Let's slide this thing apart. Yeah, there we go. Oh no, okay. Let's take that out. Hmm. Okay. What am I missing? What have I forgotten? Okay, we'll just do we'll just do what I know. So we'll take that out, take the slide off the bottom there, and disassemble that. And then we'll take this top part. Yeah, that's what I need to do. Take that top part out, and then take this. I'm gonna learn these as well. I'm gonna learn these names. So that's a sear spring. Um, and then I need to take out another pin. I think that one. No. 
Maybe I just need to take the back bit out. Yeah, and then we disassemble that. I think this would be a good learning tool for not maybe not gunsmiths, but if you're say you wanted to get I don't know how it works in America. I don't know how you know my dad taught me driving when I was a kid or he taught me how to disassemble computers and put them back together. I imagine in America you probably get taught how to disassemble weaponry from an earlier age, like a lawn gun. I don't know what a lawn gun is, but apparently they're quite common among children in America. So uh, I imagine you could put them to work on this game for a little while. After sharing some fatherly son time with them, explaining how it all works and the responsibilities of being a good gun owner and all this and that. And, uh, yeah, I reckon if they ever wanted to practice and you weren't around, you'd be able to set them up on this, no problem. I'm missing a pin. I think I need to remove one more pin. I'll take that off. And I'll take that out. But I still think... Oh, no. Trigger's next. And that's it. Disassembly complete. Oh, no. No. Oh, look, you made me do a little song and dance and everything for nothing. Oh, no, I think it's... It's the bloody sight on the back of the... I always miss that part. So there we go. Colt 1911 disassembled. See, I think this would be quite a good learning tool or just a good game for people like me who haven't really... The closest we've got to, to guns is airsoft guns. And uh, I think in, in some people's eyes, that's probably for the safest. Uh, it's probably for the best. But, um, yeah, I, I'd recommend this game. As I'd get the demo. See, the thing is with this game, I'd get the demo and then wait to see if they start releasing guns as, like, a cost thing. Because um, if they make you buy the game for a price and then they're still charging you for the guns, I don't think that's right. Assembly. So we're going to try and reassemble this now. And we'll start off with the bits we know, so obviously the magazine is easy to reassemble. This little spring contraption up here, that's easy to put back together. The recoil spring plug. So we'll put all that back together. Um, okay, now to reassemble this at the back, we need to put this thing back in. And the firing pin, and then the firing pin stop. See, I am sort of learning all these names. We then need to... We'll put the sight back on as well, so I don't forget about it. We'll reassemble this and put it back in there. I think the firing pin. Yep, yeah. and then that. So that's the slide reassembled. The magazine's reassembled. We'll reassemble this. Uh, is that a recoil spring or main spring housing? And so we know how to do that. So that's those those parts pretty much sold. And then we know that the trigger goes in, followed by the magazine catch. Um, this needs reassembling and putting back in there. I don't know what that is. But I can learn. Sear and disconnector. And I think, because the sear's gone back in, that pin can go back in. And then this sear spring. No, that doesn't go in until something else is back. So we'll reassemble. I'm not sure what this thing on the side is. Plunger tube. And safety plunger set. See, I don't know what that is. Uh, not even from all my years watching Red Jacket Armoury or whatever they're called Red Jacket Gun Builders uh, I've never seen them mention that so I'm missing something is it that? yeah that goes in first and then the sear spring goes over the top of it hey, there we go because that holds that bit of metal in there cool okay so the next thing to do is we put that back on and pin it up there we go I need this other grip as well, there we go. That goes back in there, we'll pin that back up. And now that this, uh, what's it called? Plunger, and the safety plunger are back in there, we can put the, what are you? Safety lock back in. Oh, so is that some sort of safety mechanism? So I imagine if you've got this up, or forward, you can't fire the gun, but when that's up, and this plunger can move backwards and forwards, that's when you can fire the gun. This is all just speculation on my part, by the way. I am in no way a gun expert in any way, shape or form at all. Like I said, the closest I ever got to a, 
a gun was the P90 and G36 AEG assault rifles that I had when I was doing airsoft. And I preferred the P90 over the G36C because the uh, the G36C had problems with the magazine. Uh, kept falling out and things like that. So we'll put the slide back on and we'll put... Oh, no, we need to put the uh, slide stop back on and then we can put the spring in. And then we can put the magazine back in. So there you go. A British person has just reassembled a pistol. And if you, <laughs> if you were British, you'd know that that's quite an achievement. So we can finish this and then we can look at the operation of the gun. So... You can unload it, do, 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 which is what they do before you, they get you to disassemble the gun. The slide will stay back, which is nice. Like all these little features that they've thought of, you can reload it. But these these are just standard sort of features. Yeah, uh, you can fire the gun. Amazing. The more interesting features come when you start pressing the X and S buttons. So now you can see that we can fire the gun, and we can see all the workings inside, all the little gubbins and bits and pieces. But um, we can go a level up and see more gubbins and how they operate when the gun fires. And how the gun operates when we reload as well. So there you go. And I think it's pretty cool that the sort of, I never realised, I always thought the trigger had some sort of mechanism up here that would slide back around the magazine when really the bullets feed through the magazine and the trigger, it's weird. I, I Weird? I, <laughs> Not weird, but you know what I mean. It's I always thought that there was some sort of click mechanism up here as opposed to having a trigger that went round the bullets. But that's just me. So you can you can see this X-ray it from as many levels as you want. So you can see all that all the good gubbins. I reload it. But that's not the best feature. I found the best feature is uh, this one. Where you can slow it down to one quarter of the time. So there you go, you can see things in a bit greater detail there. And if we just x-ray normally, you can see the gun firing. Now we'll go back to this x-ray. We'll reload it, and then we will click S again. And that will lower the speed even more, so that when we fire it, we can really see things working. So, there you go. Pull the trigger, sends the hammer back knocks into the firing pin, firing pin ignites the bullet and sends the projectile firing out while the case comes flying out the side. I found this game really interesting. I don't even think it's really a game, it's more of like a gun simulator I guess. And uh... I know you don't know the you don't notice these things when people are just firing guns off, but I never really notice that when you fire a uh, Colt 1911, the barrel sort of sinks slightly, and then when hang on, I should probably reload it to get the uh, second bullet in there. When the bullet goes back in, the the barrel sort of sits back up again. I thought that was quite interesting. I mean, there you go. I'm amazed by the little things because this hasn't been a part of my culture, so yeah. There you go, and then the thing slides back up. And then we can fire it again, because we're awesome. But yeah, this has been a very quick look at um, Gun Disassembly 2, another game that's available on Steam Greenlight. Please go check it out, vote it up. Um, and uh, yeah, hopefully we'll see this on the Steam market soon. Let's just look at all the choice that we've got. Isn't it amazing? Look at all that. The other one is a bit weird. There's bike disassembly, car disassembly and starships. Um, oh yeah, they're uh, click here to download deals. So, uh, yeah. You can download the demo off their website and they will give you... I don't think it's 10 free, it says here 10 free guns, I think they give you a few more than 10. And if you register, they give you more, and if you, I think on the Steam Greenlight there's some redemption codes that you can redeem different guns and that sort of thing. So yeah, definitely do check it out, um, I recommend this game, 
I'd I'd pay green light money for this game if that makes sense. I wouldn't pay like I wouldn't pay like eh, I probably wouldn't pay more than fifteen bucks for this game. But I think that's fair. And only if they give you the guns with it. I'm not paying more than a fiver if the guns don't come with it. Because I'd only buy the game and then end up buying like one or two guns. I wouldn't buy all of them. I don't see the challenge. And I might try and 100% the game if if the guns are free. But if they're not, then I'll probably only end up buying one or two and doing it that way. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. I've been Nux. You've been a very cool audience member. So... Yay, audience member. And uh, I will catch you next time. See you soon. Bye-bye.